Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at data modeling and uh, the relationships within Excel and uh, maybe a way to even eliminate the need for VLOOKUP in many applications. So here we have three tables. And if we click on our tables and we go to design, you can see this one's called sales under the table name. This one's called city, and this one is called territory. And so if I wanted to do an analysis or create a pivot table for this data, I would and I wanted to include the city and the territory in my table here, I'd need to do some VLOOKUPs to add columns in order to tie those together. But as you can see, we have certain things that are connected, certain uh, headers that are the same. Model here matches up with model here. And then within this city table is tied to the city. And salesman in my sales table and salesman in my territory table are tied so that I can link territory to the salesman. So, what we want to do in order to eliminate the need for doing a VLOOKUP and adding columns to my sales table is connect or create some relationships between these three. And we can do that in the data tab of the ribbon and under the data tools group is relationships. So let's create a couple of relationships. I can click on uh, the relationships button and this dialog box pops up and I can say I want a new relationship. So in the sales field, I want to connect the salesman here to the territory and it's connected and no notice it realizes that salesman is a related and um, similar field. So I'm going to say OK there and now I've created that relationship. Let's add another one. On the sales, I want to use the model column so that on the city one, it also can tie to the model. And I'll say OK again and say close. So now if I click on my sales table and go to insert pivot table, I can say use external data source, click on that, choose a connection, go to tables and click on tables in workbook, the three tables which are listed here. And I'll say open. I'll put this uh, pivot table in a new worksheet. Now notice down here, choose whether you want to analyze multiple tables. That's automatically checked because I've created that connection between the three tables in this workbook. I'll say OK. And now when my <clears throat> field list pops up with my pivot table fields, notice there's an All tab. And all three of the tables I have are listed here. And I can click on this toggle and see the different fields that are available to me. So I can actually take the sales data for my values from the sales table, I can take model from, I'm sorry, I'll take city and put it as my columns. And in the territory, I'm going to take territory, drop it in here. And then from the sales, I'm going to take salesman and drop it into my filters. So now I've created a pivot table that takes um, four different pieces of information from three different tables and we're able to combine it into one pivot table without having to use VLOOKUP or expand the size of my original table. And now I can take this, maybe click on here, go to design, choose my layout to be in tabular form, maybe select the data and format it in that fashion. And now I can use my filters as I would with any other table and select a couple of them and uh, it all works out the same way as if these were all in one table. And there you have it, how you can use relationships and data modeling within Excel 
to uh, maybe eliminate the need for VLOOKUP in many cases when you want to create a pivot table and your data is somewhat scattered across multiple tables. Hope you liked it. Hope it's useful to you. Thanks for stopping by. And if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com. And I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.